Ken asks, I've been using vertical antennas primarily, but having a difficult time getting out west from Michigan. Most of my contacts are south and east. Any tips or is it just propagation? What kind of vertical? Um, Tell us, Ken. What kind of vertical? Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't specify. Um, um, that That's interesting because in vertical, you know, you got the lower takeoff angle. Mm-hmm. You know, if you were just getting in like one region and you were running more of like an endless antenna, well, you know, that'd be that'd be pretty understandable. Um, I would, I would think with if you're in in Lower Michigan, um, that you should be able to hit, you know, forty meters. I, I I talk to Michigan all the time on forty meters, so you should you should be hearing people in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, uh, twenty meters. You should in Michigan. You should be you should be talking, you know, you should be hitting Colorado. Um, Dakotas, Wyoming. So, yeah. Wisconsin and Michigan, it's a little bit harder to get California and the West Coast. Mm -hmm. it's, it, don't say it's not impossible. I, I've worked them all. Um, it just kind of that's the, the skip, you kind of the skip zone there. Um, yeah. So, sometimes exactly. with takeoff, here's an idea. If you're using, say, uh, he's, he's using a Wolf River coil and an MPAS. Okay. Uh, the Wolf River coil, is that ground mounted or you got that up a little bit? Mm -hmm. Think about that. Yeah. What if you put that on a fence post? Get it up a few feet and just see what happens. Play around with yeah. it a little bit. Yeah, Take the Wolf River. Yeah. Yeah. Ken's using the Wolf River coil and the impasse style antenna. So it's. I, um... I have a buddy stick and I always put it on a tripod. Now, see, I always, level. yeah, and I always ground mount mine. Yeah, um, and, I, I don't know, and a Wolf River coil ground mounted seems to work great. Mm -hmm. I've had better response, though, with the buddy stick if I have it up in the air. Just a thought. The m yeah. gets really tall, doesn't it? It's about 18 feet. Yeah, yeah. you get over there. So that's a little different. If you have the m and you try to jack that up a couple feet, I think it's going to, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Um, well, we maybe could, we what... could put it on a fence post or something that's sturdy. I want to put it on a tripod, but maybe on a fence post. Try that and see what happens. What I would try too is I'd try um, changing your, you know, your your counterpoise, your ground radials. Mm -hmm. um, see if you can, you know, if if you want the west coast, point them west. So that's a very good point. Yeah, with the Wolf River coil, you could easily if you got if you do the standard three radials. Mm -hmm. Kind of point him in a westerly direction. Yeah, uh, the camp pass has a counterpoise, doesn't it? Yes, it, yeah. they 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 give you that single that twenty six foot wire. Okay, and you can yeah. use and you can actually add more. They say you can yeah. add more counterpoises to it for for better. Um, yeah. You know, uh, but yeah, I, I think I would I would try yeah try adjusting your counterpoises. You know, if you want to favor mm -hmm. the west coast, try try pointing them west. So. I mean, it's it's not magic, but I mm -hmm. I would go with that. Every um like I know the buddy stick um material, and I'm sure the empath material. I haven't read that in a while, but I, I think it says in there is that the counterpoise, a singular counterpoise, mm -hmm. does help with directionality, and it would lead me to believe that if you have multiple radios, that would do that as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, all right. That sounds like a, he's, he's going to, he's going to try, he's going to try playing with the radials. So hopefully we can, we'll hear you on the air there, Ken. <laughs> I'll be listening. I'll be listening to Michigan uh, this weekend. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.